So the GTA 6 trailer just broke the all-time viewing record and it's not even been a day yet. This is absolutely crazy and I can't believe that it's been over a decade since the last game came out. But something tells me that the wait until its official launch in 2025 is going to be even harder now that we've seen all of this amazing footage. So to make things a bit more easier, let's take a look at the biggest details that you likely missed in the new trailer as it's being jam-packed with big hints and lots of references. Now starting with the two confirmed protagonists, we only know officially the name of one of them, the female character which goes by the name of Lucia as she's currently being locked up in the county jail at the start of the trailer and later on being evaluated by what I assume to be her correctional officer. We however don't know the name of the male character, featured a little bit later in the trailer, though his unofficial name is James judging by how he's been referred to in some of the leaks last year, though that can be subject to change. So it's possible that this could be an early on scene from the start of the game, presumably after getting caught in a robbery gone wrong. And I'm saying that because we can see this Bonnie and Clyde duo robbing a store towards the end and then later on fleeing with a large amount of money as the cops make their way to the crime scene. That being said, I really hope that Rockstar brings back at least a portion of that robbery system from Red Dead Redemption 2. I really enjoyed just hitting up stores around different towns and then fleeing while being disguised. So hopefully they will also bring back that feature that lets NPCs recognize you unless you properly disguise yourself. Now the next one is a panning shot over the Vice City Beach and we already have quite a few hints of the types of creatures and fauna we can see in this game. So we have a pod, that's by the way a pack of dolphins swimming in the water and then a little bit closer to the shoreline we can see a couple of sharks including ones that swim very close to people. So I'm kind of wondering are we going to see shark attacks in this game? I would definitely love to see that as gruesome as it sounds but we do have creature attacks in GTA 5 too. Now towards the end we have a look at the very densely packed beach, more on that and how insane it is on the ground level in a bit, plus the sprawling cityscape. In fact the map is absolutely massive as you'll see in just a bit, we can see all of these large skyscrapers in the background including one in the middle of its construction, possibly hinting towards dynamically built structures. Now, Rockstar Games already pulled that off in Red Dead Redemption 2 with some of the houses in Valentine and some of the train tracks, but um, yeah, there's also been some leaks hinting towards a possible system like this in GTA 6, so I'm all up for it. Now, as far as the map size of Grand Theft Auto 6 goes, this is going to feature more than just Vice City itself. In fact, it's several counties big with multiple different cities, from beaches to wetlands covering a large part of the state of Florida, or better said, Leonida, as that is its in-game name, judging by the license plates and other street signs out there. Also interesting to know that this might be a nod to the original description found on the back of the Vice City box art which read Welcome to Vice City, a huge urban sprawl stretching from the beach to the swamp. The only problem was that we didn't have any swamp areas in Vice City back then so maybe this is just Rockstar making amends. But like I said there are multiple cities that were hinted and at least two counties were already being confirmed just from the trailer. So we have the Vicedale County located in the southeastern part of the state and the one seemingly containing Vice City and then there's another one called Kelly County, a different city location actually as seen from the traffic signs. This might correspond to the real life Broward County which is a bit up north from Miami but who knows maybe it's a different kind of reference. Additional places like Port Galhorn that can be seen in one of the signs later in the trailer bring more legitimacy to the leaks that we had last year that show the full map of the port area, though its actual location can only be speculated for now. Again, looking forward to the wetlands for sure, we have quite a few swampy areas being shown and yes, alligators are definitely going to be part of the ecosystem all the way to while well, pretty much invading your swimming pools and even going out shopping, but it seems that you can ride airboats to make things easier in these locations. We can see these two characters enjoying a peaceful cruise during sunrise. It's hard to tell who these characters are, but it's likely our two protagonists, as I'm pretty sure I'm seeing the outline of Lucia's hair, but I might just be seeing things. It's also a perfect showcase for the true next-gen graphics that GTA 6 will have. The thick volumetric fog hiding the sunrise behind it looks really intense, but it just goes to show you how far we've come in terms of simulating realistic light as each sun ray in the scene bounces at different intensities upon the dense vegetation as the scene angles to the right. 
If this is how it's going to look on the consoles, I can only imagine how insane it's going to be on a high-end PC once it comes out later. Which, by the way, it does. The launch date has only been confirmed for the current-gen consoles and not on the PC. Presumably, that's going to come out at a later date, similarly to how GTA 5 also did back in the days. But at the 22 second mark, we have what's probably my favorite shot in the entire game, demonstrating how densely packed beaches can get especially, but also the town in just a bit. Now, there are at least 50 NPCs I'm counting just in this shot alone, some walking by, some sunbathing, others sitting by or inside of water and displaying more complex levels of interactivity. I'm also highly impressed by the specular light and subsurface scattering on the skin as characters realistically display sunray reflections and even their bodies show off different light reflections from different angles. But in typical Rockstar fashion, the attention to detail here is insane and they definitely didn't spare any expense on it. So if you take a look at how the sand builds up on the feet of these characters in the middle, it appears more dry and light colored, while for the ones affected by water, it's darker and thicker due to water retention just like in real life. The same attention to detail can be seen for the clutter too, so soda cans, fruits, small backpacks, ice coolers and other things on the ground are perfectly lit as well as presenting shadows realistically more so than any other GTA game. Finally, judging by the buildings in the background, especially the hotel with those archways at the top, this seems to be further, and I'm gonna assume this, west than in the intro, or I'm not sure, maybe south? I think this is south, actually. Again, we can see the angles of the buildings still under construction from this location too, but from a little bit further away. At the 23 second mark, we have a first shot of the boats riding through the intercoastal waters. Now, it's possible this is from a mission, given how these boats and well, the characters travel in tandem, but we do have some returning boats or similar ones from previous GTA games like the Speeders and the Jet Maxes. I do kind of wonder if we're gonna get the old Rio or even more the more iconic Squalo back at some point, because we do have returning vehicles we can see in some of the later shots, such as the Cheetah. Now, interesting to note here is that cargo ship in the background in this scene, while in most other games would be completely static, can be seen actually moving these large containers and the mechanisms can also be seen moving in real time. Again, maybe a nod towards that dynamic building system. Now around the middle of the trailer we can see that shot of the bridge leading into Cali County. Interesting here is that we can see social media being heavily referenced once more. We have the characters in the background filming what I think is Lucia in this red supercar driven probably by James himself. Again, NPC and traffic density looks completely unreal, or better yet, I should say completely real, as this has to be the more realistic I've seen crowds appearing in a video game thus far. Now, this shot could be a hint towards vehicle customization. We do have some stickers we've noticed with Rideout Customs being referenced, which might be the name of the place we get to visit to achieve these awesome vehicle looks. But uh, super happy to see that um, they also focused a lot more on low riders this time around. This might be a place to pull up if you are looking for a body shop or maybe just gathering with some of other low rider enthusiasts. Now, continuing with the realism and crowd density, nightclubs will be a big part of this. And let's face it, fellas, they are part of the charm. And this Make It Rain Monday event definitely seems interesting. We see um, some celebratory champagne in the background being delivered too. I'm pretty sure that this is also the same club we've seen in the previous leaks and I believe a story mission brought us here too. Now the next shot we have a better look at classic Miami or well better said the Vice City and it's clear it's not just Vice City but lots of other surrounding cityscapes in here too and I mean the map just looks absolutely massive. But we do have a better look at Boardwalk, looking way more packed than it's ever been. Also, the classic Cheetah making a return gets me really excited, but we can see a lot of other vehicles inspired by modern day cars. As is tradition, Rockstar is taking heavy inspiration from real world stuff, so we can see a Porsche 911 lookalikes, we can see something that's clearly inspired by a new gen Ferrari. But the blue car in the back being part kind of reminds me of the new Corvette Stingrays, and there's possibly a green Lambo lookalike on the side there too, but let me know if I missed something. 
Now, further down the line, we have the heavily inspired Florida Keys coastline location with the two bridges going by and tons of boats as well as the seaplane flying by. So add that to the list of vehicles we can presumably use and it's likely going to be needed as the marine activities appear a lot more diverse this time around. So we can see cargo ships actually traveling the waters. We can see a bunch of yachts of different sizes, different um, ones in the background that appear a lot more massive. And people just having fun with jet skis by the beach on the bottom right definitely seems like something that we can definitely ruin. There's also this balcony scene with a bunch of people and also the jacuzzi over there. And again, this seems to be located in the same almost like beachfront location as from the start of the trailers. So it seems that in the background we have the exact same buildings and the same hotels there by the beach side. So maybe some kind of mission brings us here. However, I do hope that we do have a lot more interiors this time around and then the vice sign overlooking the city during a quick time lapse now just like i said videos and social media are a big thing in gta 6 and it seems that it's taking heavy inspiration from real world stuff in conveying information via these sort of shorts and the live streams i do however wonder if our deeds will ever make it into the news something tells me that they might but this just shows you how different locations can be from one another and how diverse the environments are. One day you're sitting by your pool only to get an invited alligator guest by or go and fill up your tank to the near gas station only to see some wacko running naked from the sheriff. Or bump into Florida man or well the counterpart in GTA Leonida man which is definitely something you can encounter. And also I do wonder if we can see some more crazy NPC interactions when going into traffic. Like we can see some of these dudes um, just making obscene gestures at the drivers behind. So I do wonder if this is something we can also trigger. Anyway, have another look at the interstate line taking east will bring you to the Vice Beaches and the port. VC keys and then on to the west we can see Cali County so this is likely how we're going to reach those locations. This doesn't just include big cities but also many smaller towns and communities. At some point in the video a woman wielding a hammer is being captured on video with a caption neighborhood watch don't play around Hamlet so that could be a reference to this derelict looking area. Plus, monster trucks are making a return, by the way. It looks like the wetlands area might be a perfect gathering spot for some kind of mud-splashing, tire-burning Billy club. Anyway, this is pretty much it with some of the biggest hints and giveaways we've seen in the new trailer. Of course, more will follow soon because there are so many, many more that I didn't cover. I think that there are over 100 references just in there if you pay close attention to it. But if you've noticed anything interesting, totally let me know down below in the comments. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.